In this video, I'll demonstrate how to easily create t-shirt mockups on Canva and how you can use your mockups to showcase and promote your products. On Canva, you can access the easy to use mockups app, which allows you to generate professional t-shirt mockups in seconds. Using mockups is one of the best ways to present and market your t-shirt designs to customers. Customers can't physically try on your t-shirts online, so mockups can be a great way for them to visually see how they will look. You can use mockups for the product images on your website to create more engaging social media posts, targeted ad campaigns, and tons more, which we'll discuss later in the video. So let's head over to the Canva homepage and get started by creating some t-shirt mockups. So first, let's go over how to access the mockup templates from the Canva homepage. If you look at the menu on the left hand side, you should see a tab that says apps. Let's click that now. This will take you to a page where you can view all the apps that are available on Canva. From the menu on the left, you should now see several new options available. If we scroll to the recommended section at the bottom, we should see a tab that says mockups. If we click this, it'll take us to a page where we can access all the different mockups that are available on Canva. As you can see, there are several mockup categories that you can choose from, including technology, print, packaging, apparel, and home and living. On Canva, we can create mockups for just about anything, but since we're creating mockups for our t-shirt designs, let's click the apparel tab. Not only do they have t-shirt mockups, but also other apparel such as sweatshirts, hoodies, tank tops, and more. But I only want to see the t-shirt mockups, so let's select the t-shirts option at the top here. And here's where we can browse through all the various t-shirt mockups that are available on Canva. They have tons of styles to choose from, including mockups with models, with the t-shirt only, and even mockups with a transparent background. There are tons of mockups available, so if you needed to narrow down your search, you could use one of the search filters at the top here. So now let's check out the results and see what different t-shirt mockups are available. And there are tons of mockups to choose from in various styles and formats. Some mockups include models in various ethnicities and genders, different background options, and some mockups with just the t-shirt only. The mockup you select will depend on your design and what you're going to use it for. They have a few free mockups that you can access, but to access all the mockups, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. If you don't have Canva Pro yet, head over to learnwithjason.com or simply click the link in the video description to unlock your free trial. So for my first mockup example, I think I'll go with this Canva Pro mockup here. This will open up a menu where you can get a larger view of the mockup and see similar mockups to the one you selected. If everything looks good, go ahead and click the select button here on the right hand side. And this will open up a menu where you can select the image to add to your mockup. From the uploads tab, you can browse your previous uploads or upload a new image if you like as well. And if you click the designs tab, you can select one of your Canva designs to use for your mockup. For this example, I'm going to upload a design, so let's go back to the uploads tab. To upload my t-shirt design, let's look over on the right hand side and click the upload button. I can then find and open up the t-shirt design that I want to add to my mockup. My design should then be uploaded and added to the uploads menu here. So to add my t-shirt design to my mockup, let's click it, then click the select button at the bottom here. And your t-shirt design will then be added to your mockup. As you can see, my t-shirt design is currently hard to see and too far down on the shirt. But luckily, we can edit the mockup directly from the menu here. The first thing I want to do is change the shirt color. So let's look at the menu on the right here and click the color icon. This will open up a pop-up menu where you can select any color that you wish to use for your mockup. For my mockup, I'm going to keep it simple and go with black. So I can actually see my design now, but it's still too far down on my t-shirt and a bit too big. So to fix this, let's click the adjust settings button on the right. From here, you can adjust your design on the mockup print area. To resize my design, I can simply click and drag the corners. And to rearrange my design on my mockup, I can simply click it and drag it to the correct location. And if you like, you can also use the menu on the right here to crop your design, align it on the template, or flip it horizontally or vertically. And once you're finished adjusting your design, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the save button. And my shirt color has been changed and my design has been adjusted. Feel free to make more adjustments if needed, but once you're finished, go ahead and go down to the bottom here and click the save mockup button. This will take you to a menu where you can select to use your mockup in one of your Canva designs or click to download your design to your device. I want to download my design, so let's click the download button. 
and your new mockup should then be downloaded to your device. So let's open it up and see how it looks. Not bad. As you can see, it actually looks like she's wearing a shirt with my design on it. The design actually looks like it folds into the wrinkles of the shirt, and the image is crystal clear. If you like, you could also click the top button here to use your new mockup in a Canva design. If you click the use in a design button, it'll open up a drop down menu where you can select the project that you want to create. If I select Instagram post for example, it'll open up my mockup in a new project with the dimensions of an Instagram post. From here, I can use my new mockup to create an eye catching Instagram post that I can use to market my brand. Feel free to add text, graphics, and other elements from the Canva library to help your Instagram post stand out. And once you're finished creating your mockup design, you can download it by going up to the share button at the top right of the page. You can then click the download tab, select your download settings, and click the download button to download your design to your device. So let's open it up and see how it looks. Not bad. I think using a mockup is much more engaging than just the standard post. You can now add your new mockup post to your Instagram page, Facebook page, or any other social media brand page that you want. In my opinion, using mockups is one of the best ways to market your products and promote your online store on social media. So we've gone over how to create mockups from the Canva homepage. Now let's go over how to create mockups using the image edit menu. Let's add a new page to my project here to use for this example. And since my t-shirt design was made for a dark colored shirt, let's change my background to black. And now when I add my design to the template, we'll actually be able to see it. So for this example, the first thing I'm going to do is upload my t-shirt design. So let's look at the menu on the left hand side and go to the uploads tab. If you haven't already, you can use the upload files button at the top to upload your t-shirt design, but I've already uploaded mine, so I'm going to click it here to add it to my template. So to create a new mockup with your t-shirt design, make sure you have it selected, and from the toolbar up top, let's go to the edit image tab. This will open up a menu with all sorts of options that you can use to edit your image. If you scroll down the menu, you should see the apps section. Here's where you'll find the mockups icon. Let's click it to open up the mockups app. And here's where you can access tons of different mockups on Canva that you can use for your design. There are various mockup categories that you can choose from, but since I'm creating a t-shirt mockup, let's go to the apparel section. To see all the apparel mockups, let's click the see all tab on the right hand side. From here, not only can we view t-shirt mockups, but tons of other apparel mockups as well. We have transparent mockups with the product only, mockups with models, realistic mockups with the product only, and tons more. So for this example, I think I'm just going to go with this first transparent t-shirt mockup here. When you select the mockup, it'll be added to your template with your design on it, and you'll see the mockup editing menu on the left hand side. Here's where you can change the color of your t-shirt and adjust your design on the mockup print area. First, let's click the color icon here to change the color of my t-shirt. This will take you to a menu where you can select any color that you wish to use for your mockup. My design was made for a dark colored shirt, so I think I'll go with the dark blue. Once I select my color, I can then go down to the bottom here and click the apply changes button. And my t-shirt color has been changed and my design is actually visible again. So the next thing I want to do is adjust my design on the mockup. Using the print area editing box up top here, I can simply drag my design to whatever location I wish and drag the corners to adjust the size. Once you're finished making your adjustments, go down to the bottom and click the apply changes button. And your design should then be updated on your mockup. If you like, you can also use the other options here to crop your design, align it with the template, or flip it horizontally or vertically. But for my mockup, I'm just going to go with this. So now that I'm finished adding my design, let's select my mockup on my template and drag the corners to increase the size a bit. I'm also going to click and drag my mockup to center it on the template. So here's my new t-shirt mockup. To download it to my device, let's go up to the share button at the top right. From the drop down menu, let's go down and click the download tab. Here's where we can select our download settings. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. And to remove the black square from behind my mockup, we'll need to select the transparent background option. This will remove the background from my mockup, allowing me to download it with transparency to use it for creating content. But in order to remove the background and download your mockup with transparency, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So once you finish selecting your download settings, go ahead and click the download button. And my new mockup should now be downloaded to my device. Let's open it up and check it out. 
Not bad. I think this mock-up shirt looks really good and my background has been cleanly removed. I can now add my new mock-up to a social media post, my website, or anywhere else I like. So before we continue, I'll show you a third way that you can access and use Canva's mockups. This will be by using the side menu in the Canva editor. So first, let's start by going to the Elements tab on the left hand side menu. From the Elements menu, go ahead and click the search bar up top. This will open up a drop down menu with several element categories that you can select from. If we scroll through the options here, we should see a category that says mockups. Let's click that now. And this should open up the mockups menu. You can then select a template, upload your design, and create your mockup. Also from the Canva editor side menu, if we go down to the apps tab and search for mockups in the top search bar, it should pull up an icon in the search results that if you click it, it will take you directly to the mockups app. So let's go down to the apparel section and click the see all button to view all the apparel mockups. For this example, let's select a realistic t-shirt mockup with a background setting. When you select a mockup, it'll be added to your template and you'll see a message on the left hand side here explaining how to add your image. But before we continue, let's drag the corners of my mockup to increase the size and fill in my template. And there we go. So to add my t-shirt design to the mockup, we'll first need to go to the uploads tab. If you haven't already, go ahead and upload your t-shirt design. But since I've already uploaded mine, I'm just going to click it and drag it over to my mockup to add it to the t-shirt. It may take a few seconds to load, but once it's finished, it'll look like your design was actually printed on the t-shirt. My design was made for a dark colored shirt, so it's kind of hard to see here. So to edit the mockup, let's select it, then go to the edit tab at the top toolbar here. This will open up a menu where you can adjust your mockup settings. I can adjust the size and location of my design using the editing box up top here, and also change the color of my t-shirt using the color icon. My design was made for a dark colored shirt, so let's just select black. Once you're finished adjusting your settings, go down to the bottom here and click the apply changes button. And my mockup has been updated. I can now download my new mockup and use it for my website, an email marketing campaign, or anything else I like. And speaking of using my mockup, the next thing I want to go over is several different ways you can use your mockups to showcase your products and promote your brand. Using mockups is one of the best ways to market, display, and sell your t-shirt designs. Mockups make your online store and marketing content look more polished, which is more appealing to customers, leading to more purchases. So first, you can create custom mockups to use as the product images in your online store. Using high quality product images allows customers to see the details of your design in a realistic way. Instead of spending time and money to hire a product photographer, mockups allow you to display your design without upfront costs or other hassles. You can showcase your designs on realistic t-shirt mockups, making them more tangible for potential buyers. You can use various mockup styles for your product images, such as mockups with models, the product only, mockups with a transparent background, or whatever looks best on your product page. And using various mockups, you can add product images with different backgrounds and styles, giving customers a better idea of how the product will look in real life. Mockups can be a great way to enhance the look of your product listings and increase the professionalism of your online brand. You can also use mockups to enhance your website content, such as your banner or your homepage images. Mockups are a great way to grab shoppers' attention and drive them to your product pages. You can create mockups that showcase your product within a relevant setting or environment, which helps potential customers visualize how your product will fit into their own lives. If you have a beach t-shirt design, for example, you could use a mockup that shows someone wearing the design while jogging by the ocean. And since mockups are relatively easy and quick to create, you can use mockups to create multiple banner variations for your website and test which ones resonate best with your audience. Using mockups for your website content can effectively grab customers' attention drive user engagement, and ultimately increase your sales. Another great place to use your t-shirt mockups is in your blog posts. Mockups can actually be used in your blog posts in various ways, including as the hero image, integrated along your blog text to illustrate specific points, or even be used in a collage format to showcase various products or features. High quality mockups can grab a reader's attention and visually represent the topic of your blog post. This is particularly useful when discussing new or upcoming products that you don't have existing photography for. Mockups can help your blog readers envision themselves having your product and its potential benefits. Within your blog content, you can also add links to your mockups that send readers directly to your product pages. Next, 
You can also include your mockups in your email marketing campaigns. A relevant product mockup can instantly capture attention within an email. They are more likely to stop a reader from scrolling past your message and encourage them to dive deeper into your email's content. This is a great way to announce new designs, offer promotions, or showcase customer testimonials for your shirts. With mockups, you can showcase your t-shirt designs in a clear and concise way, highlighting your design within the limited space of an email. Overall, product mockups and email marketing can significantly boost engagement, grab readers' attention, and ultimately drive more conversions and sales. One of the most popular ways to use t-shirt mockups is to create engaging social media posts. Social media feeds are fast-paced and overflowing with content, so grabbing viewers' attention quickly is essential. Product mockups can help elevate your brand on social media and be a game changer for marketing your products to customers. High quality mockups can stop the scroll and draw viewers in with visually interesting product presentations. This is especially crucial for capturing attention on platforms where visual content dominates, such as Instagram, Facebook, or Pinterest. Social media content needs to be produced frequently, and mockups offer a cost effective and time saving alternative to using product photography. By incorporating mockups strategically into your social media strategy, you can enhance engagement, increase brand awareness, and ultimately drive more clicks to your products. Not only can mockups be used with image posts on social media, but also to create animated videos for eye catching stories and reels. And with Canva, you can easily create an animated mockup video that you can use on your brand page. Simply select a mockup template, add relevant text and graphics, and animate your elements to create an engaging video. This will allow you to market your t-shirt designs online in a dynamic and attention grabbing way. By leveraging product mockups within your videos, you can create high quality, cost effective visuals that effectively showcase your products. Not only will this showcase your creativity, but will also help to increase your overall viewer engagement. The next use for mockups we'll be taking a look at is for targeted ad campaigns. Using mockups has been proven to increase conversion rates, so they're excellent for running successful targeted ads online. You can create mockup designs for specific audiences based on their interests and use targeted ad campaigns to show your products to potential customers. On Canva, you can also add supporting graphics or text overlays to emphasize key selling points within the ad itself. The ease of creating mockups also makes them ideal for A-B testing. You can test different mockup variations, including backgrounds, color schemes, or text, and see which versions resonate best with your target audience. This data-driven approach will help you to optimize your ads for maximum impact. So that's a quick overview of how to create and use product mockups on Canva. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.